News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom is joining us live. Bree, you spoke with her tonight. I did, and she told me she was actually waiting for Lewis to come back from hanging out with a friend. She was waiting at her apartment, and he never showed up. She immediately knew something was wrong. Katara Reed says she remembers every moment of the last day she spent with her boyfriend, Lewis Nix III. She says she and Lewis met up Tuesday afternoon around 2.30 to talk at a park. You know, just expressing how much, you know, we loved each other and just how much we cared for each other. We went and got food. We came back to the park. Reed says she and Lewis went their separate ways after meeting at the park. She said she wanted to hang out with her close friend and he went to hang out with his. I had texted him and I was like, are you gone? And he said, no, I'm not. He's like, I'm still with my friend. When he drops me off to my car, I'll be on my way to you. Reed says she waited outside of her apartment for Nix. He FaceTimed me at 757 and he said, like, you know, again, like, I don't want any beef with you. We're good. You know, just just reiterating the love. Shortly after Reed hung up with him, she said he sent her a text saying he almost crashed on Martin Luther King Parkway 15 minutes from her apartment. 819 came. I remember texting him like, you good? And he didn't text me back. I started texting him crazy like, where are you? Stephanie Wingfield, Nix's mother, says JSO said Nix was missing until someone found his body near a pond across the street from Broxton Bay Apartments where he lived with Reed. She says at first police thought it was a homeless person, then realized it was Nix. Detectives told Wingfield that his passenger window was open when his car was pulled out of the pond and the seatbelt wasn't buckled. Detectives told her the car was found upside down in the water. Reed says she has memories of Nix that she'll still hold on to forever. This great guy who had an infectious smile. And coming up at 11, I actually got a chance to talk with former Notre Dame or actually for Notre Dame football coach Brian Kelly about the former Notre Dame player Lewis Nix the third who just recently died. That's all coming up at 11. I'm live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station.